What's up, guys? This is DJ Cobb 97. Welcome to episode 7 in my hardcore world. In my last episode, I showed you several farms I built for this world, one of them being a tree farm designed by ENX04. I built this farm in a giant hole that I dug deep underground. The reason I did this was so I could build something over the top of the hole, something to serve as an entrance to the farm, and also to hide the contraption itself. My first thought was to build some kind of lumber mill. However, I decided against that because I've seen quite a few people do something similar. Then I had a great idea. To build my own version of the great Deku tree from The Legend of Zelda. Specifically, the Deku tree from Ocarina of Time where you enter through his mouth. After wondering whether Nintendo was going to sue me for this, I hopped on a creative world and spent a couple hours designing the build. I watched a video by Glitchin' Out, which walked me through the steps to build my own natural looking custom tree. The video was a great resource, and after watching it, I was able to build an awesome looking tree. All I'd have to do was carve out a mouth and add a mustache. The next step was gathering the materials to build it in my hardcore world. I decided on stripped oak and reasoned I'd need about two shulkers full. I ran my wood farm for a while until I'd filled a couple shulker boxes and I started the process of building. Alright, now to the task at hand. Uh, I believe I will actually need a bunch of temporaries. Temporary blocks, so let's uh, see here. Alright, I cannot really see myself needing more temporary blocks than that for now. <laughs> okay, DJ, you gotta land on the block. You can do this. Nice! I'm a lord. Okay. I believe I went out one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I believe I just had a straight up. circle like that okay there's the first K that should make it easier to do the other ones I think one two three okay now how does that look I think we're looking good. Okay, then we add some like variation. We could take this out. Go here instead and here. Okay, then it makes, ah, what the f I think that works. After building a large chunk of the base of my tree, I realized I wasn't vibing with the build so far. I thought I was following the same steps as before, but for some reason my tree was not turning out as good as the one I built in creative. It was boxy, with lots of flat edges and weird staircase-like patterns. I really couldn't fathom how it could turn out so much worse than the other one. Looking back, I probably didn't follow the video as closely the second time, which caused me to mess it up. Dude, you know what I'm considering doing is tearing it all down and starting over. Scratch. Cause I'm not loving it. Yeah, dude, I think I'm gonna tear it all down. F it. I don't like how this looks. It looks like sh this just looks like f asshole, dude. God, why does it look like f dog? Sh yep, I decided to change my game plan. Since I love the original tree I built in my creative world, why not just copy it to my hardcore world block by block? I proceeded to tear down every piece of stripped oak I had placed. All right, well, this is going to be f***ing fun. I might as well just copy the build since it turned out so much better in creative. I was following the guy's video a lot better when I made it in creative, so... Well, that's fun that I've wasted an hour. All right, that's all right, man. That's all right. 
That's a minor setback. Come on, I've been through way more rage inducing sh than this. I then began the grueling process of copying the build from my creative world. I took several pictures of the build from multiple angles and used those as a reference. I had no idea how mind-numbingly insufferable this process would be. For the next few hours, I rebuilt the base of my tree in slow motion. I would stand on some scaffolding to get a good angle and look back and forth at my pictures and the build, trying to figure out where the next block would go. I'm not even going to show very much of this because it wouldn't be very entertaining. When I completed the base of the tree, I decided to free build the rest of it. There was no way I'd have the mental capacity to copy all the branches and leaves. All right, from now on, I'm freestyling it, so let's get it. Progress on the tree. Hell yeah, we're probably gonna finish it next stream. So, if I'm gonna do leaves, I'm gonna need some shears, which will require iron. I'm just gonna grab this, this 26. I'm trying to decide what would be the best way to do this. I plan on clearing out all these trees anyways in my little spawn chunk island, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Alright, I better get out of here. It's going to be Reaper. So maybe I'll start and I'll grab some more leaves the next day. I'm safe. I'm not wasting my time with you. Let me climb this scaffolding. Yeah, this is gonna look good, man. Like, we're gonna need to fill in a few spots, but... Alright, I think I'm calling it. I think I am... Whoa, there's a gap. Let's fix that. I think I am pretty satisfied with how this... has turned out. My Deku tree was finished, and I loved the way it turned out. It really added to the vibe of the area around my house, and I started envisioning all the possibilities of what else I could do here. I imagined the area full of awesome builds with pathways connecting different sites together. Before I got ahead of myself though, this project still wasn't finished. My tree farm was still looking pretty rough. Since it was in a hole, the walls were made of dirt, stone, granite, etc. I didn't want to do anything too fancy, I just wanted to make the walls look nice and make it vibe down there. I got to work mining the walls and building up new ones. Oh dude, I am the lord. Now I'm make, working on making the the walls of the wood farm down here blast proof and like making them look better. And that was excruciating copying it from my creative world. <laughs> yeah, I'm basically I'm taking this farm area where I've got my wood farm right here and then my bone meal farm and little nether vegetation farm. I'm just trying to make this area look better in general.
wipe my ass after that. I gotta watch out, man. That could happen again. <laughs> I wish I had bright bloom seeds that I could just shoot with my t my bow. Oh, well, I'm gonna kill your kids in front of you. And then watch you just, uh, slowly die with your other son. Jesus, you guys don't have to start a choir, you know. I wake up in the morning and throw some eggs on the stove, watching the sunrise through my front window. What will I do today, I ask myself. Maybe I'll build something out of wood. Something small, or maybe something massive. The realm of possibilities is infinite. I reflect on a time in the distant past, when I lived countless other lives in countless other worlds. I used to be the bane of trees, the destroyer of forests. With axe in hand, I would leave a trail of death and destruction in my wake. I shudder now to think of those days. In this world, in this life, I, DJ Cobb 97, am an ally to the trees. While seeking redemption from the transgressions of my previous existence, I planted a seed. It was a magical seed endowed with a consciousness as old as time. From a sprout, I nurtured and protected it. Over time, it grew into my good friend, the great Deku Tree. I was no longer alone in this world. Now, just outside my house, I had someone to talk to. Someone with all the sage wisdom of all the forests. I could take wood from the Deku Tree without bringing harm to him. He told me that he forgives me for all the times I murdered countless incarnations of him and his children in past lives. I vow now to only wield my axe for good and not evil. Anyways, that's episode 7. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.